Un unfortunate for Dill. However, we're going to get right into our next set, which is John versus Vivi. We're going right back to small battlefield. And we're going to be having, uh, no surprise, uh, Hero versus uh, Weaver Trainer. Okay. John going to start off with that stage control. I think this is a, a matchup where John does need to get more aggressive. Uh, one of the, I won't say one of the few, but certainly one of the characters that might have better zoning tools just because of the disjoint along with all the projectiles is going to be Hero. So John can't really chill the side of the stage. Not really I mean, an option in this matchup. Also, he runs the risk of cycling through and finding bounce. Yeah. Like that, like, it feels like those matchups where BB opts for oh Hero, gosh. he just, it's because he wants bounce, and bounce just breaks the matchup. Ooh, okay, yeah, and not only that, um, Hero has the ability to not only, yeah, go for bounce, but the other thing I was going to say is Accelerado, which is, again, uh, allows really Vivi to now become the aggressor. Um, oh, and Bajan being so patient right there in the corner, utilizing that shield, just waiting for the Accelerado to run out, and does so, allowing him to uh, get back into a position of advantage. Zoom and come back to stage, but it doesn't have landing right on top of John, and it's a side B into the neutral B there. Vivi not really ready for that landing, and John is up a full stock. Things looking very good for John at this point. We know just how much of, like, John with a lead can extend it. But with uh, Accelerado, look at that. It's so hard for numbers to actually pin him down and hit him with either his aerials or, you know, his projectiles. Okay, going for that Tomahawk there again. Here's Tomahawk, really good. Catching the air dodge, almost gets the dare punish right there. Doesn't end up working out. Uh, Four. <laughs> you said before there is a timing in order to dodge that entire uh, move, and, and, and Numbers un knows it. And unless you play against Hero every day, and who does like Numbers play against nearly every single tournament that he goes to? Maybe. So, he knows. Yeah, it was grand yesterday at Waypoint, which it often is at Waypoint. So, oh. Oh, John going for a nasty confirm. Doesn't end up working out. That sour up to nearly allowed him to take that stock right then and there. However... Oh, you're spooked. Uh, <laughs> Vivi using th those um, those empty hops. Okay. Wow. Almost uh, getting that header out just in time. But that sun citation out of the corner, and John is looking so good. That fair is enough, and John up two stocks now going into the looks like the end of this game number one. Vivi now needs to get either stock off right here, right now, or uh, get to get your data because uh, John's playing real, real well right now. Yeah, uh, or just come cut. Or get your dad out, but you know, no big deal. Um, okay, it's not rattle, and um, get your dad. Oh, wow. Okay, even with the lack of good DI, um, John living there. Um, okay, and John now has a full 51% on to Vivi, and the advantage just keeps going for John. Looking for an edge guard, a high recovery right there for Vivi, but yeah, that's a three that's stock. That's a three stock. Yo, Devin, when are we going to uh, get those, uh, those bowling style? Did you see those on Twitter? The what? They're, uh, they're, they're like these Shit. really bad animations. Three stock. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did see that. Shield that was, that was, brain. That was really fun. Yeah, honestly. I, I want them. I don't know. Are they, no, are they they, free? You know, okay, can I just say real quick, you know what pissed me off about that clip? They transitioned to nothing. Yeah. They literally just went from the game scene, played it, Back to the game scene. Yeah. Come on, guys. Amateur hour over here. Amateur. Not everyone can have <sighs> the production value of House of Three Thought Follow House. <laughs> that was the first thing I noticed. Follow House. <laughs> um, you're you're a broken man. I now, can't enjoy man. streams. You can never yeah. enjoy streams. Yeah. Lucario is out. Uh, I can definitely understand that after that game one really did not go well uh, for Vivi. Yeah. And granted, this matchup is. I think it's fine. For Lucario, yeah, it's uh, always hard to say because like Vivi is great and it's always in you know the, these high situation with Lucario and Hero. Um, does anyone know what this character does? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, also I think that against numbers we fit specifically. I feel like there are other we fits that yeah. they focus on like let me get that big chunky early kill with deep breathing into forward smash or something. You know. Numbers not really about that lifestyle. No. Instead, he is more than comfortable chipping yeah. away at his opponent, which against Lucario might come back to bite him. Yeah, and the, the thing is with okay, up there, no, okay, up for the attack right there. Ooh, yeah, that, that header header when you hit the soccer ball is so so active as a spike. Um, so I like the idea right there from John. However, now Lucario with all this aura, um, Weaver Chainer no slots either with deep breathing active. 
Ooh, okay, but uh, utilizing that um, or here, cast the landing from John. Both players at 89%. Forward throw for John. Get uh, Lucario back off the stage. Ooh, missing the tomahawk grab right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Side V from um, Vivi did a whole lot of damage. Ooh, and John just a slight shift off to the side right there, allowing him to get back to the ledge without getting hit by that down air. <laughs> Two back airs, both of them just barely missing. And now John with some stage control, he definitely has the ability to take this stock, but there's so much menace and threat to Vivi with all of this Aurora. Okay. Yeah, not gonna be able to punish anything of that sort. Uh, pretty safe from coming from the ledge. But a back air, still not enough just yet. Yeah. Soccer ball, that's not gonna be killing. All you've done is made him stronger. Than Ooh, wow, and the bounce, I don't know if that was intentional there, but the bounce on stage, I wanna assume it was, by Vivi to get back to the ledge, actually stalled so that he wouldn't get trumped in that position, and Lucario's killing you at any percent now. Be. No. Oh, it's not gonna be not no a Weaver Chain throws really kill uh, without uh, deep breathing. Oh, but the miss, and Vivi not really getting that full punish, just forward throwing. I'm throwing might have just killed right there with all this aura. But the dash attack lingering on the soccer ball gonna be enough, and after a full, like, two and a half minutes, the first stock comes off in this set. And this is horrifying in your numbers, because you get hit once, you take 50. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You die. You, uh -huh. you get hit twice, you die. Okay, but that's not gonna get caught right there by the sun, and the numbers is not gonna have to worry about that, at least for just a little bit here. Back here, though. Okay, numbers catching the spot up with the grab. Quick salute to Sun. Oh, going real deep. Okay, downer. A great two frame tool, but not going to work out right there for Vivi. That dash attack has been coming out really frequently from Vivi. I wonder what numbers direct counterplay to that sort of option. Is. Wow. And again, oh, in that situation, you almost don't even want to air dodge the. Um, the side B because the um, getting input moves by the back air is maybe even a little bit scarier. There though, and Vivi once again, all this aura. And you're seeing John utilize the soccer ball to prevent an aura sphere while John is off stage. Oh, you died? Oh, it's it the wrong way. John's DI was not great because it was the wrong way, but John living. I don't think he has a jump. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Uh, Vivi, an excellent uh, piece of advantage right there. Utilizing the down smash to get John all the way off the stage. John was forced to jump to get back at all. And Vivi taking that stock with ease. But Sun Citation from John gonna take it right back. Second time he's taken the stock, almost exactly like yeah. that. And so once more, we have even, just really even uh, game between these two. I will say that Numbers has not really been getting early kills. He's been bringing Vivi to these really high percentages yep. and then not able to do the D first. And he can't use his last stock. He can't afford to do that anymore. Yeah, and that, that, that is, has really been the, the name of the game here. Uh, is that uh, Numbers has been, you know, the, not only the aggressor, but it's certainly been doing the majority of the percent early on. And Vivi just had a comeback after a comeback to take the stock just before John does. And then John immediately takes it back. Obviously, this is the last opportunity for John. Gonna F tilt. No longer has stage control. Vivi gonna do exactly that. And F smash on John. Pretty risky. Gonna be able to get back to stage, though. Vivi has the ledge trap on deck. This is a re grab. No, it's not. Wow, John landed back on stage. Okay. Okay. okay, keep breathing out. Gonna be able to live a little bit longer on top of kill uh, Vivi just a little bit earlier. Oh, that DI on the forward tilt sending okay. Vivi way down. At this point, 90%. This is where things get really scary for numbers, especially if he's in the corner where it feels like he's being put time and time again. Yeah, and these nairs coming out big for Vivi. That's a great option for Lucario. You can see it's almost impossible for numbers to punish it. It's only minus two on block. Scary, scary move that Lucario has uh, in his arsenal. And now, really, Number just needs to get uh, one opening in advantage state. That's going to be probably the deciding factor. We're going to tech roll in. <laughs> okay, Numbers with some stage positioning. He hasn't oh, gotten the socket. No! Where did it? Why? Where did it why? No option for the tech right there. I think Vivi was ready. The air dodge came out immediately out of hit stun. However,. That's unfortunate for John. You want to be in a position where you can at least force attack. Oh, and yeah. now the Aura Sphere is so, so, so deadly. Dash attack to cover that. It's so active. Okay. Oh, finally getting off the stage with that. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. The, the, the thing is huge. That is the biggest Aura Sphere I've ever seen. Full, like, 143 Aura for Vivi. That downer absolutely will kill. 
Oh, soccer ball coming in big for John, he's allowing him to get some positioning. He has the sun in his pocket right now. Oh, but numbers, he's eating these some, these, these oh. spheres, but not enough to actually kill right now. Throws it out, just lets oh it go. Oh my gosh, this wind box. Oh, oh my god, oh. that's not going to no. do it. Yeah, yeah, 163%, both of them deep in the red right now. Wow, going high. That's going to be it. And the dash is enough. Vivi in that last hit situation, coming in clutch, taking it over John. Super scary, and we're going to a game three. That oh was almost God, a that timeout. Was that was almost a timeout. That was game two? Yeah. What? Hold on. I'm not there it is. Yeah, we were at uh, 32 seconds. I and I and I acknowledge that like stock one took 43 seconds, but it really or, or took um, two minutes 30 seconds. But I was like, oh, they're picking up the pace. I thought like, oh, there's no way that like they're gonna go to time. They were 30 seconds away from going to time. They are pulling out all the stops here, and it was the story of John got the percent lead, could not take the stock. Vivi just happens to take it just a little bit earlier than John would have, and we're going right back to small battlefield. And Vivi's in a position to let's trap to start. Where's this music from? I just know I've never heard this song before. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. John catching that jump. Oh, and almost got a nair dodge as well on the read with the F smash. It ended up working out. Getting that nair so safe. So Vivi going for an instant up tilt, catching the Adishil option from John. That soccer ball not going to work out for John. The header. Ooh, okay. Forward air. Nice big hitbox in front of Icario. Dare though, trade. Not bad for John. Looking for the anti air with the up tilt. Vivi now back to the floor. Those tunnels are going to work out for John, but not there though. Vivi not fooled. Yeah, okay. <laughs> This is so neck and neck at the moment, which if your numbers is honestly not a great position to be in. He's just not been consistently killing early. Even there, you see him rip out that up smash. Just kind of hoping it's going to connect, but Vivi's not falling for it. Has not fell for it once this set so far. Oh, and some salutations still not going to be enough to get across stage. And the fact that that's not enough is a disaster for numbers. Yeah, you have Lucario at this white, nearly 140%. Ethel on the roll and not quite fast enough. Okay. Now, yeah, Levi's at that percent mark. Oh, bad throw. So let me get up just yet. Okay, I think for the soccer ball there instead of deep breathing, Woo! but now goes for it. Yeah, and get that bounce so good for Vivi. Numbers not going for the grab on the roll in. Yeah, the thing is the grab is a threat right now. Oh, the soccer ball took it away. And numbers, he just lost deep breathing. I don't know if the throw was gonna kill at this point. No. And that shield is so tiny. Oh, no. Oh, and the jab whiffing too high of a percent or too much rage. Okay, that Sun Citation is actually good. That will absolutely kill, but the dash that coming in so clutch for Vivi in these past several games against <laughs> both John and Mono. And... Oh, that's going to be die. That was Nair. That wasn't even back air. That was Nair? That was Nair. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, and now he's at 183. Uh oh, oh you gotta get the stock. Uh oh, yeah. John. Okay, that's not enough to do it. Yeah, wow, barely not enough. But barely not enough is the worst thing. Okay, finally managed to take the stock with the forward air. Doesn't take too much percent as a result, and yeah. against Lucario specifically, this much of a percentage differential is honestly negligible. It means yeah. Okay. It is also, I just want to draw our attention to the timer again, because we are now starting our second stock uh, for both players, and we just are about to hit four minutes. If we continue on this pace, at the very least, at the end, we might see more pressure, some sloppiness come out from both players. Oh, wow, it's an instant up smash uh, run up by John, and that's actually pretty big. You're putting Garner in that percent range where now he's pretty darn close to dying, but once again, we've seen this story about four times before. Um, and it really has not worked out for John. John taking the, the stock here would send a message. It would be so big for him uh, just to get it off before yeah. Vivi takes his. We haven't actually seen Vivi have to play against numbers uh, with a lead yet. He's always taking the first stock. 
and like numbers uh, with a lead is one of the most notorious you know players out there so if he can actually manage to do that right here especially in game three when so much is on the line it would mean ah, it would mean the world but we're in that same oh position as before Windbox coming in big for John there once again. Had the read on the rollback, but the SF was not enough range. And that's all there, though, sending uh, Vivi off the stage. Okay, forward throw at the ledge. Still not enough. But deep breathing is now in effect, meaning that a grab here will take it. But he's so aware of that. And again, once more, John losing that stock first. He has to be so careful here. 157 managed to take really it. just the same deal again and again and again. But numbers cannot fall for that same deal. This yeah. is the last stock, game three. He cannot. Yeah, and it's it's just so, so safe um, in, in so many of those um, in those positions for, for Vivi, going for those nares, really just not allowing John to do those easy, you know, shield punishes, right? Okay, spot dodge right there. Nair. Oh, that long-lasting F up tilt. This is, this is a big stock. You need to take it off of Vivi before he gets to that high percent mark, but you don't have a jump. You're back. Vivi is opting for the ledge trap and gets it with the forward throw. Yeah, he's pushed to the brink time and time again. Oh my again. gosh, that air dodge in, not getting caught. Yeah, and that's actually massive for numbers. It means that he's with a bit of positioning, but he gives it up trying to chase Vivi down. Oh no, no wait, that killed? Kill? That killed? What percent was he? He was at 90, wasn't he? What? He was at he was at 92. Was that even deep breathing? That wasn't deep breathing. Oh, was it there deep There was deep breathing. Okay. Oh, I don't even know when he got the deep breathing. This was so... Wait, is that deep breathing? I can always... It's always tough to tell. I don't think it is. Isn't deep breathing like a... Like a yes. Okay. 92. It was full sun, but jeez louise. Yeah. Wow. That is... John just taking it. The first time in We Fit Lucario that he took the stock first. And when it's the one it that mattered the most. With that said, though, I, I, I want to just one. point out there. I want if we took a look at like the statistical sort of trends of numbers when he was taking stocks. It's like 160, 170, 180, 150, 92. 160. 92. <laughs> All right. With that said, though, we're going to cut to a quick break, folks. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We have some more excellent Super Smash Bros. coming up for you. Dill vs. Link Shadows. What's coming up next? You're not going to want to miss it. We'll see you in just a little bit. Bye, folks. <laughs>